Hey, what's up? It's HJ, and welcome to my channel. If it is your first time, welcome. And just so you know ahead of time, this is a Christian channel. I am a Christian. If you're not a Christian, you are welcome to watch, but yeah, it's gonna be a biblical point of views for sure because I'm all about glorifying Jesus. Glorifying Jesus. And before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, yay. Okay, so first off, disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Dating is not actually in scripture. It is not in the Bible. It doesn't say the word dating in there. It doesn't allude to the word dating. Culturally, when scripture was written, there was no such thing as dating. You were either arranged marriage, betrothed, then married. Um, dating wasn't a thing culturally, but what we can do is look up scripture to gain godly insight on relational behaviors that are biblical. And so I just want you to know right here and right now, I'm gonna bake some wisdom nuggets in the oven for you and I'm gonna serve them to you. You can eat them or you can not eat them, but that's what kind of video this is. One, um, we know as Christians we date to marry and it's just not wise, not that it's a sin to date if you can't be married, like I said, I'm not trying to buy anybody's conscience, but it's just not wise to put yourself in a relationship where you become so close to somebody, like maybe at the age 14 or 15 or 16, whenever you're not in any position to be married because you are setting yourself up for sexual sin, sexual um, failures. Is that a word, sexual failures? I don't know, you're setting yourself up for failure pretty much because you're gonna become so bonded with somebody and honestly, like, sex is such an amazing part of marriage and it really is used to feel so close to that person and to create a bond between husband and wife. In, in, in a dating relationship, you reach a point where you're just like, I can't get any closer to you, I wanna be closer. And the next step is, um, you know, what was made for the marriage bed, but you ain't married. So if you're like 17 years old and you know, you could be married soon or you're 18, 19, 20 and you like legally can be married, then that's not an issue. But if you're like 14 years old and you're not getting married anytime soon, don't set yourself up for failure to where you have to rely on your um, self-control for like three years of your life because it's probably not gonna work. Um, but yeah, that's just like a wisdom nugget number one. Number two, when deciding if you're ready to date or what age is appropriate for dating, I would say, can you be in a relationship with somebody and not be distracted so much so that you, one, don't pay attention to anyone or anything around you. Like, if you know you're in middle school or high school and you see these girls that get in little relationships in high school and they're only with their boyfriend 24 seven, like, you leave your friends in the dust, you leave your studies in the dust, you leave your goals and your ambitions that you have for your life in the dust, and this dude or this girl becomes your main focus and everything is based on them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you, 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 and you just like suck yourself up and attach yourself to this person because you're not mature enough to be in a relationship but still have your own identity. So if you know that that's you, it's probably not the wisest idea to be in a relationship right now and just really um, work on finding your identity and who you are and who you are in Christ so when you're in a relationship, you don't lose yourself. Another thing kind of in the same vein, but more on a spiritual side, so number three, if you're ready to be in a relationship, would be, can you be in a relationship with somebody which is very emotionally demanding and physically demanding and you always have to be with them and spend time with them and think about them and la la la. Can you do that and still keep God number one in your life? Do you still have your own study and prayer and personal relationship with the Lord that is in no way, shape, or form based off of the person you're in a relationship with? And I'm gonna tell you why that's super important, okay? Because I'm married, and one of the first things I learned when I was married, real quick, right off the bat, I was just like, wow, this person does not satisfy me, even in marriage, the way that I thought that they would. Like, Christ really can only truly satisfy me. Um, and I realized that I was being so fed and full of being with my husband all the time that I kind of slacked on spending personal time with God and I just really felt that drain 
um, happen in my spirit. And so if you can handle being in a relationship and still keeping Christ the number one priority in your life, then you might be ready. And if not, then probably not. Okay, sorry, my camera died. I had to go run and get my phone. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Okay, hopefully that's not too bright. Um, another one is if you are in any sexual sin, and I'm gonna keep this real quick and brief because this is this could go as deep as the ocean right now, but I don't have time for all that. But if you are in sexual sin, if you are looking at pornography, if you are watching things, looking at things, listening to things, thinking about things, and it's really consuming you, and this sin is just really deep in your life, you do not need to be in a relationship because not only is it affecting your relationship with God, it will affect the people around you. Um, and especially the person you're in a relationship with and you don't want to bring them into that environment and bring that impurity into where they may not be struggling with that or dealing with that and you just don't want to go there and I don't even want to go there with you right now because it's so deep I don't even know how to say it but trust me okay if you are struggling with sexual sin, you need to seek help from someone in your church. You need to give it to the Lord. You need to be free from that and rid of that before you try to bring another person's heart into your care because you're not even taking real good care of your own heart right now, if I could say that. Um, just to be frank, I love you, but... Uh -uh. So, uh, last but not least, and I'm sure there are so many more wisdom nuggets... But for this video's sake, maybe I'll do a part two for you. But last one on if you are ready to be in a relationship is do you want to be in a relationship just because you're bored and you want somebody to text at night and you're feeling lonely or do you really want to find somebody to spend the rest of your life with? Don't break somebody's heart and don't put somebody in the position to fall for you when you're really not ready to fall for them. For the sake of not being lonely and not feeling lonely if you have lonely issues <laughs> make friends i don't know seek jesus but don't do that to somebody because what happens is and guys i'm sure this happens to you too i'm um, just speaking from the girl's point of view is guys will string us along and we'll start to really fall for you and then you're like a little fish not all of you so don't get mad but some of y'all are like little fish and something shiny in the water and you look and you start swimming that way and we're just over here like I thought we were gonna be together or I really liked you or wow that was a waste of six months of my life um yeah so don't do that really um seek somebody to be in a relationship with them for the right reasons make friends if you need a friend okay but that's all I have for you guys today comment below if you like anything that I said if you have anything to add if you want a part two if you have any other video ideas that you think would be cool to do a video on um, I love you guys make sure to share this so that my channel can grow make sure to like it let's get to 50 likes have I gotten a 50 likes? I feel like I've exceeded 50 likes is that even a real goal I don't know let's just do 50 likes and we'll just set the goal higher for next time I love you guys and I'll see you later